G'day and welcome back to the North Boreham Repair Cafe YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to give you a, a little bit of advice about uh, replacing some of the old style capacitors that you find in, um, in older equipment uh, that, uh, that can cause problems, They're actually quite common problems. Um, the sort of capacitors are known as reefer caps, I'll show you on the microscope in a minute, but they're small rectangular uh, foil um, caps which have got um, some potting material around them. I'll show you closer in a minute. Uh, but they are, um, my advice I guess in summary is to, if you see them in any of the equipment that you're repairing, uh, take them out and replace them. Um, they, if they haven't already failed, they will soon. And when they go, there'll be a lot of smoke, um, maybe a short circuit um, in your device as well. So uh, anyway, I will have a look under the microscope. You can uh, see the sort of uh, device I'm talking about. So if you've been around for a while, you would uh, have heard the term reefer caps and uh, any, anyone on uh, watching YouTube channels of uh, people doing electrical repairs um, of, of equipment uh, from computers to sewing machines through to, you know, um, televisions, uh, etc. Uh, these are often used um, usually in the uh, power supply that um, comes off the mains, uh, part of the filtering circuit. Um, this particular one came out of, or this one and another one I'll show you in a minute, came out of a, an old television from 1979 um, that, uh, that had started to fail. Um, and you can see the sort of failures you get um, on this one. It's just starting to crack in the potting material. You can see some cracks on this side, um, on the other side there, some, some uh, further cracking there. Um, uh, right along the, the, the middle there and then down the side. They sort of, they bulge out and uh, I'll show you the another one here that um, has gone even further. This one had, had failed completely. Uh, you can see it's bulged and, and split and sort of come apart there. All right, so often you'll see them with just the cracks I showed you before. Um, this is one that um, I actually saw fail. Uh, a lot of smoke <laughs> came up. Um, and it was a, an old television that I, I, um, I, I foolishly I, um, I turned on before I'd actually opened it up and had a look inside. Um, so I knew, knew pretty well what had happened straight away. I've had these failures happen before. So, All right, so um, the, what you need to do with them, uh, in my advice, is uh, if you look at the, the rating on the, or the markings on the top of these capacitors, uh, these particular ones are 0.1 microfarad, 250 volts AC, um, X type. You can see the X there. And you need to replace them with an equivalent function um, capacitor. But uh, my advice is don't go back to the old style if you can actually source them at all. Um, replace them with a, a more modern um, equivalent. Uh, and you can see the, the, um, the markings on here, 0.1 microfarad. 275 volts AC, so it's higher than the other one, um, which is fine. And then these are X2, which is the, the, the modern standard equivalent of the X. Um, so make sure you get one that's uh, uh, intended for the same function. The X um, markings on those capacitors uh, are, are the function and make sure the right voltage and uh, capacitance is there. And then you should be able to replace them one for one. So when you're trying to save that old uh, sewing machine or uh, television or whatever it is from landfill, old computer even, um, and you find these uh, reefer capacitors um, in the power supply when you're doing your repairs and, look, and, and uh, getting it ready to go, my advice is take them straight out and replace them with the equivalent that I showed you. Uh, that'll save you a lot of heartache um, and may, may stop you from getting a, uh, a smoky room, let's say. Uh, smelly smoky room uh, but also potentially a short circuit on that power supply. Uh, so anyway I hope that's useful for you. Uh, just a quick video today uh, and it's been a while since we've had a video up. I apologize for that but it's been a busy time in our lives um, and we're just starting to get back on top of things so uh, hopefully we'll get a few more videos going in, next, uh, in the next uh, not too distant future. I won't promise anything but um, hopefully not too long. Okay Thanks for uh, coming and joining us again, and uh, we hope to see you in the future.